Hello, Whitefish Bay Middle School. Here we go. After six months of not being at school, it's time for your first day back on campus. We're really looking forward to seeing you. Before you come, there were just some things I wanted to, to run down with you so you knew what the day was going to look like and maybe some things you want to be thinking about before that first day. First and foremost, we are going to do everything in our power to keep uh, everybody at school safe and healthy and mitigate risk to the best of, of our abilities. We're going to need your help in doing that though and a couple things I want to bring your attention to first. Every morning it's really important that your family goes through the, the symptom check which I'll include in this email so that you know if you're coming to school that you're not demonstrating any of the, of the potential symptoms of, of COVID and that'll help us to keep the virus out. Additionally, at school, we're going to talk a lot about the three W's. Wash your hands, wear a mask, and watch your distance. So wearing a mask, obviously that's a non-negotiable, so make sure that you have a mask with you. You might even want two, uh, so that you have one for the morning, one for the afternoon, or maybe when you go home for lunch, you, you swap out uh, masks there. With washing your hands, we're going to give you lots of opportunity to do that. We have plenty of hand sanitizer at school. Maybe you even want to bring your own hand sanitizer in just to keep your hands clean and, and practicing good hand hygiene. Watching your distance, we really need you to be thinking about that every time you're at school or in, in different environments. Am I maintaining that, that six feet uh, of distance the best of my ability? So those things are going to really help us to keep everybody safe. Now let's walk through the day. So you're at home, you've got your backpack on. So let's talk about that backpack before we even get out the door. In that backpack, remember that's kind of your mobile locker. You won't have a locker at school, so you're gonna to wanna to keep anything in there that you think you're gonna need, but within reason. So on your supply list, you don't wanna bring everything that's on the supply list. So for example, if there are 50 number two pencils on the supply list, maybe you bring five. Or if there are five boxes of Kleenex on the supply list, maybe on day one you will need bring one of those. So just bring the things that you think you're going to need for that first day of school. Um, obviously, we're going to be supportive and helpful in case you, you don't have something that you need, but try to bring those things that you think you might need on the first day. A couple other things, obviously, you want to bring your Chromebook. Just make sure that you bring it fully charged. That's going to be really important because then you're not going to have to bring your charger. At school, you won't be using your Chromebook that much that you would need to charge it throughout the course of the day. Um, but if you come in with it fully charged, I think it's going to make it uh, for, for what you need it for. I would bring a good pair of headphones with you uh, because there will be times when you're probably going to need to be uh, putting headphones on and maybe listening something for your world language class, for example. So bring some headphones with you. Please bring a water bottle. The water fountains have been turned off, but the bottle filling stations are on, and so that way you can get your bottle filled up and you can have it with you in class. Also, you might want to have a snack, especially seventh graders. I'm thinking about you. Your, your lunch is pretty late in the day, so you might need a snack in the morning. Speaking of lunch, if you're going to be staying at school, please be sure you bring a lunch with you. Unfortunately, our, our food service provider is not going to be able to help us this year, so there will be no lunch options at school. Um, so you're going to want to make sure you have something with you, or I know many of you uh, will be heading home for lunch. So those are all the things. You're packed up, you got your backpack on, and you're heading to school. We are going to gather in a similar way that we have in years past. So 6th graders, you'll head to the green space. 7th and 8th graders, you're going to head to the blacktop area um, behind school. We'll draw a line down the center of, of that uh, blacktop area. So seventh graders are on one side, eighth graders on the other. You'll, you'll be able to tell when you get there. We will be lining up by your homerooms. So it's really important that you know who your homeroom teacher is. They'll be there, they'll have a sign, and you'll look for them to line up there uh, at 750. I would not be coming to school super early uh, before 750 if you can help it. So maybe arriving by you know 745 to 750 so we can start lining up and getting inside in 755. We're just trying to avoid having you know big groups of kids hanging out mingling um, before school. So if you can come as close to 750 as possible that would be great. Along those same lines parents we would ask that you drop your child off and then you head on for your day. We also want to avoid having large groups of parents hanging out in front of school, especially on those first couple days. Uh, we will line up again, like I said, by homeroom, and then we'll head into the building. If you happen to come a little bit late 
and everybody's already inside, please come in through the front door and we will help you to find your homeroom uh, and get you that to that first class. We're lining up outside, out, we're lining up outside, rain or shine. So please dress appropriately. If it is raining, bring an umbrella or a rain jacket uh, because we're going to keep, we'll wait outside um, even if it's a little bit wet out there. So now we're all walking into the building and everybody is heading to their homeroom uh, because that's going to be the spot where you spend the vast majority of your day. So sixth graders, when you head to homeroom, your very first class is homeroom time before you have core one and core two. Seventh graders, you will head to your core one class because you have core one right away. Eighth graders, even though you start the day with specials, you will still go to core one. And even if you have those classes that are not live when you're at school, so uh, world language and music, for example, uh, you're still going to be in your core one class and somebody will be there helping you get logged on to that, that first um, specials of the day. If you have art or another one of those elective classes, you know, Miss Doherty or that teacher will be in your homeroom space teaching that class. So everybody in the building will be heading to uh, core one. Their, their homeroom class, uh, very first thing in the day. So that's where you'll be for all the, the entire morning, and then we'll get to lunchtime. We do know that most students uh, have are uh, indicated, or families have indicated that their child is likely to go home for lunch. We won't force you to go home, um, but we do understand that many kids probably are going to go home. So we are going to stagger the exit time so that not the whole grade level is not leaving at the same time. We would ask uh, students that you leave pretty quickly and you head home. And remember what you agreed to if you are heading home. This is not, um, this isn't a free for all. You're heading to your house by yourself to have lunch. We're not going to other people's houses or uh, hanging out in other places around Whitefish Bay. So just remember what you agreed to when you, when you, um, when you signed up for that. If you are staying, then we'll make sure that everybody gets their hand washed and then we'll eat. We'll be eating lunch uh, in those homeroom spaces as well during that time. Uh, that reminds me, um, we will take attendance after lunch. We also will be taking attendance um, at the beginning of the day as well, just to make sure everybody's there and, and, and accounted for and in the room that they need to be. Um, those will be the two big times when we're taking attendance throughout the course of the day. So then you'll continue on through the rest of your day, and then at the end of the day, we again will stagger our exit time. Students, we ask that when, when your homeroom is dismissed, you head out the door, you know, grab your bike, walk, walk, whatever it is that you're going to be doing, and, and you head home for the day. Um, and then you get ready for the next day. <laughs> and at least, you know, so for the first two days, Tuesday and Wednesday, you'll be, uh, you'll be at school if you're in, in the A group. But I encourage you to watch the other video that talks about uh, your first virtual days at home. So that's the plan. I really think once we get into school, the route, it'll be a new routine, but you're going to get into it really quickly. You're going to settle in, and, and I think it's going to start to feel like school once you're actually back in. So we're really looking forward to seeing you. Like I said, uh, all of your teachers are excited to see you um, when you return. If you have questions before then, uh, feel free to email me. You can email your school counselor. Uh, you can email your homeroom teacher who will become kind of that, that, that lifeline person for you throughout the course of the year. So always feel free to email them too if you have questions uh, and somebody will be able to help you out. All right, everybody. Have a good night of sleep and we will see